This is Manny Fresh with another tutorial. Today I'll be showing you guys how to share a folder on your MacBook and how to access that same folder in your Mac or in Windows. So first you need to set up the sharing services in the uh, Mac OS. And you have to, of course, create a folder that you wanna share. So the first thing you need to do is create the folder, which I did here called share. And you create the folder by right clicking and do new folder. Uh, so that's the first step. The next step is to go to the top left, go to system preference, and then go down here where it says sharing. And then on the left side, you wanna enable file sharing. You wanna make sure it's green like that and it's on. This information here, we will need later, so keep an eye on that. This is basically the IP address of your device. And we will need that for your other computer that's on the same network. So in order for this to work, you need to enable that. And then in here, you basically click on the plus sign and you find the folder that you want. So in my case, mine's on the desktop. I click share and then I click add, which I already did here. Now, the biggest thing to remember is here where it says users. What you wanna do is usually this one will be excluded. This is my user and you will find everyone enabled. But if you wanna make a user specific and, and you want to add that user that you, that you have an account for in your MacBook, then you create on plus or you click on plus and then you click on the user that you want to add. And then on the right side, you could go ahead and change the permissions to read and write, or if it's read only, you could go ahead and do read only. Then if you click on options, um, you want to make sure this option is selected. And the biggest thing to remember for Windows file sharing, you have to make sure that this is selected in order for you to access those shares with that username for Windows. Okay, so once you added the folder, added the users, gave it permissions and make sure this is good, we could access this share two different ways. You could either do it by IP or you could do it by host name, which is right here. Uh, the easiest way to do it would be by IP. So I'm just gonna go ahead and copy that. And I'm just gonna do a simulation. I'm, I'm, I'm on the same computer, but if you were on another Mac and you wanna access that share, what you need to do is you need to close out of here. You, have, you wanna make sure up here it says Finder and then you go to go and then you say connect to server. In here you copy paste what you saw on the share settings on the preference. And you could even add a slash and put the name of the share and then you will click connect. That will basically, it's like mapping a drive so once you hit connect, your drive or your folder share will show in here on the other computer. And then you'll be able to access it. So since I don't have a second MacBook available now, this is how you do it, basically. In Windows, I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to access the same share folder in Windows. So now back in Windows, what you want to do is you want to click here on the type here to search and you want to type in the word run. Once you type in run, this will, this box will appear. And then to access any network shared on Windows, you always start with two backslashes. And then what follows is your host name slash computer name slash IP address. So you could do it 
different ways. So I'm gonna go ahead and use the IP address. In this case, it's 192.168.1.21. And then I'm gonna add another slash. And since I'm on the same network, it already shows me what I've connected in the past. It should also show you what's available. So I'm just gonna click on share and then click okay. In my case, I already logged in and authenticated before. So in your case, it should ask you for credentials and the credentials that you add is for that account that you added in the sharing settings on your MacBook, which is the username and the password. You can also do the same thing by doing the host name, which is your computer's name. and you should get similar results. Now, if it doesn't work by computer name, then you may have some DNS issues. And I remember that I was having that issue with Windows. It was only actually allowing me to access the folder only using the IP address. So it's still loading there. Look like it's having a hard time querying that host name. But that's just an example of, of how you could do it as well. And if it doesn't work for you by host name, then just go ahead and use the IP address and type in the name of the folder. All right, so that's how you create a share in Mac OS and how you access the shares in Windows as well. Thank you for watching this video. If you have any questions, leave them below and please subscribe.